Hey guys, it's Nuo Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I'll be quickly showing off a um, divider that I made while making parts for my calculator. Um, yeah, this is only 4 bits. Uh, I would say it's pretty big, but um, whatever. I'm going to make a probably a sequential one for the calculator since it would be pretty much the same speed anyways. So, um, yeah, I was just messing around. But anyways, um, this divider is 4 bits, I think I said that already, and um, it also goes 2 bits beyond the radix point for fractions. Uh, the outputs, the inputs are over there. The outputs are along the edge here. Um, those are the, uh, so the uh, least significant bit would be that way. So uh, that's 0.25, that's 0.5, that is 1. That's 2, that's 4, and that's 8. Uh, if you know anything about binary, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the reason that all these are on right now is the calculator, or not the calculator, the divider. Well, it is a cal calculator, but whatever. The, the divider is actually dividing by 0 right, right now. Uh, this top input, which is the divisor, is off. So it's basically just saying... Can I take away zero? Yep, yes I can. Can I take away zero? Yep, I can. Can I take away zero? Yep, I can. Can I take away zero? Yep, I can. Over and over and over and over again, forever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah. So that is why all the outputs are on. Anywho, uh, just to demonstrate that that's why they're on, uh, if I make it divide by one, they all turn off. Since one, uh, zero divided by one is zero. Anyway, so let's do something on the calculator, divider, whatever. Um, let's divide something by two. Let's divide eight by two. Eight divided by two. I'll wait for it to calculate. Uh, I have repeaters here to uh, delay it so it doesn't block drop and stuff. Um, that's why it's slower. Otherwise, actually, it'd be the same speed anyways. It would just be really derpy. But anyways. That's just four. The four light is on. That's good. That means it's four. Yeah, uh, yeah, duh. Uh, yeah, so eight divided by two is four. If you know math, then that'd be pretty obvious. Uh, now I just did nine divided by three as another example. And the output is three. One and two. One plus two is three, so the output is indeed three. Um, yeah, if you don't know binary, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. Yeah. Unless you, like, really like my voice or something. I don't know. Anyways. Um, wow, what am I talking about? <laughs> uh, let's do 15 divided by 3, since we already have 3 there. Um, 15 divided by 3 is 5. That's 5 in binary. I'm not going to explain that. You can see it's 5. Uh, let's leave that 15 and divide by 15 by 5, and that will give us 3 here. So that's 3, yes. And one final one before I go into fractions here. Let's do something more interesting. Let's do 12 divided by... 6. It's 12 and 6. Wait for it to really calculate, and now you have 2. So that is working. Now, let, let's do some nasty divisions that do not produce nice numbers. Uh, let's do 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4. So, 3 divided by 4. That does not produce a nice number. See, none of these outputs are on because 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75. Um, so now, in these extra two bits here, beyond the radix point, radix, whatever you, however you pronounce it, um, point 0 0.5, which is 2 to the minus 1, and uh, 0 0.25, which is 2 to the minus 2, are on. And, um, if you know anything about binary, you should know that that is 0 0.75, which is the correct answer. 
Uh, if you really want to check if that's the correct answer, go ahead. I'm pretty sure that 3 divided by 4 is 0.75. Um, if you really want to check it, go ahead. And now let's do... Uh, Let's just do 3 divided by 2. Why not? I already put that there. Just to show. So now that one's off and it's just 0.5. Now, what would happen if we did something like, I don't know, like 10 divided by 7? That's a nasty number. Well, 10 divided by 7. Obviously 7 goes into 10 one time. Um, and then we have 0.25 activated here. But obviously uh, the, des the, um, the decimal would go on and add more uh, numbers to that if I had more bits beyond the radix. Um, this is only 2 bits beyond the radix. As you can see there is still remainder here. So it will uh, still need to calculate further down. Well, actually, it's a repeating decimal, so it would go on forever. Um, but it would be uh, point zero one zero one zero one forever, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. So, that that's just um, the accuracy of the divider. You just need to add more bits to however accurate you want to get it. Uh, I don't know how accurate I'm gonna put it to my make it for my calculator. Um, I'm gonna make it definitely more accurate than this because it needs to be somewhat accurate so you can so it's correct in some sense. Uh, probably like five or six bits beyond the radius. Uh, radius, radix, not radius. <laughs> um, anywho, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'm not gonna get into how the this divider works in this video, um, mainly because I want to make a full tutorial on how to make these because it is far too complicated to explain in a single video. Uh, I guess I'll do a basic demonstration of how it works. Basically, uh, you have an input and you have a top another input. Well, yeah, and. Um, it basically says, can I take this input away from it, and then shifts it over and says, can I take it away again, keeps doing that. So it's conditional subtraction, um, that was the worst explanation ever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, it just shifts and a uh, combination of shifting and conditional subtraction is division in a nutshell. Uh, think back to when you did long division in elementary school. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Uh, and, yeah, see you next time.